Hey guys, what's going on? Um, before we get into this video, I just want to say something really quick. So as you can see, like in the video, I'm just looking around and stuff like that. But like, um, yeah, I just kept getting distracted around the mall. But honestly, I think for the rest of my videos, I'm just going to be doing them at home so I don't get distracted as much. I know I'm like not as perfect as I am right now. I know I'm like messing up and I know that I took this video like two or three weeks ago, but um, you know, I haven't really had the motivation to like actually edit this. So like I'm doing it right now and I'm gonna upload it right now as, I'm su as soon as I'm done with this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please make sure to leave a like and a comment. I know you guys haven't done that lately, but Honestly, like, it's fine. I'm not as big as right now. And since I really didn't have access to social media, not a lot of people know my stuff. Not a lot of people know me. And, like, other than the fact that not a lot of people like me <laughs> at my school. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys really like this. Sit back and, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back, Glenn here, and today we're going to be talking about a couple of things today. First off, um, I'm back on social media now, well, technically just Instagram, I still have to log into Snapchat, Twitter, and all that. Also, I want to talk about the Demi Lovato concert that happened last week, and my friend Becca How she kindly invited me to the concert, and I got to meet Demi, which is pretty psyched, and we'll be talking about that in a minute. So, I'm here right now at Total Mall, and... I had to go to work, but I might as well just make a quick video before I go in. It's like, I have to go in like around 30 minutes or so. So we still got time to go. Okay, so first off, um, it's been around three months already since I've been without social media. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be opening all these snaps people send me. Uh, my friend Maddie, she said that she still Snapchats me, but I think, but Danny told me that she stopped and like, just checked. Oh. Bitches, you're drunk. I know I said I was gonna do this for five months, but honestly, um, I've gotten my priorities all straight. I got an A's and B's, so I got A's and B's lately, so life's been pretty good there. And honestly, like, I just don't, and honestly, I feel like I can have more self control now with social media than before. But like, I'm on, I was on Instagram earlier, um, I made a quick post. I'm gonna link in the description below my Instagram, but when I was on there, I didn't really feel like like socializing, like liking pictures, like just being on there, like I normally would uh, three months ago. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna feel the same with Snapchat and Twitter because it's been so long. So I don't know if I'm really gonna get used to it again. But yeah, I'm gonna be getting back to it um, in about a couple days now. Depends how. Probably around beginning of the spring break, probably. But yeah, there's that. I'm going back to social media soon. And also, um, earlier this week on Wednesday, I went to the Demi Lovato concert with my friend Becca. Um, she was super nice to invite me backstage and all that. Um, her dad actually like is one of the managers at iHeartRadio, Radio, so um, really thankful for her and her dad for inviting me along. Um, it was pretty fun, and they're such nice people. And I'm thankful that they invite me. Like, they're really nice people. Like, it was pretty cool. Like, I got to meet Demi. I got to go, like, on the stage. DJ Khaled performed, and that was sweet. I got to see him really up close. Really, really up close. I saw his butt crack and his pants fell down a little bit. That was uh, scarred. I, I got scarred for life. <laughs> that concert was really fun. Um, Demi's sister also was like right next to us when she was singing, which is crazy. But yeah, here's a little clip of this concert I was at yesterday. I don't know how spotty it is. It's really spotty here. So, we're at the Demi Lovato concert and we're at the front stage. I'm here with my friend Becca and... Andy. Andy, yeah, Andy. <laughs> He's like, what's her name? <laughs> Who's this bitch? Yeah, we're about to see DJ Khaled in a bit. I can't wait for that. We just saw Kehlani and she was, she was pretty good. And she's wearing a I, plastic bag. She's got, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Khaled just brings out his son. I'm fine. And yeah. <laughs> so yeah, life's been pretty good. Um, I've honestly been less stressful lately. Obviously, um, I'm not really socializing with that many people right now. Um, I pretty much cut off almost everyone, so 
don't really have anyone to talk to. My close friends that I want to talk to, um, they're either busy or at work, so I'm basically just at home doing homework or doing whatever I want. Also, quick update, um, I'm officially inviting Gabe to become a part of my channel now. So now we're going to be sharing the channel. He can post his stuff, I can post my stuff. So yeah, there's really not much to talk about. I got around four minutes into this and it's around, um, I still got time to kill. So we're going to be walking around for a little bit. And check out my outfit for today, boys. My burgundy hoodie, this dope jean jacket that I bought at Zoomies. Honestly, really like it, it's pretty dope. And then I got my Chelsea boots on with me. That's a uh, that's different than what I usually wear what I usually wear, but you know it's a little bit new look. I tend to have my own sense of style because um, most of the people that I hang out with they mostly stick to like trends or like um, just wear like lazy clothes or like hoodies or like whatever and I honestly just try to stick to my own thing and I just walked by like a group of people and they're just giving me like a weird look. Okay, fun fact about this mall, it's been around here for about, um, I'd say 20 years or more. At least that's um, like what I've looked through at my research. But honestly, in my opinion, I don't believe it's gonna stick around for another year. Stores are closing down and it's insane. Like a lot has closed down for like the past couple months and it's slowly starting to become a ghost town and it's crazy because I mean look at this there used to be a store right there behind me and they closed it down um, a couple months ago I believe around January I think I'm not sure I only come to the mall on the weekends when I actually have work so I'm not that good with the details but yeah um, I think I, there was another store there too and they closed down recently um, oh yeah Macy's closed down too that was a big thing they closed down around the summer that's that's crazy. Let's see, what else do we have here? I've never even heard of this story. Christopher and Banks, that's... Okay. Here's an upper uh, close store, but... Um, I can avoid these people. But back there, they used to be Forever 21, but then they... It was just a temporary move for them, because they were remodeling. God, I'm like really trying to avoid people right now so they don't like Gap also closed down. Um, it's right around the corner here. I'll show you they got I'll show you that in a second um, One thing I'm really scared they might close down soon is H&M because that's my store That's my store man, and honestly, I'm gonna be sad if they close it down soon um, H&M has had that thing with the king of King of the Jungle thing with that the hoodie that kid was wearing that said King of the Jungle yeah here's Gap right here and then we got H&M right behind us yeah um, because of that thing with the kid with the hoodie and all that um, they're in really big trouble and not only that but GEZ and The Weeknd they cut their contracts up with H&M and that's really disappointing because I was looking for I was looking for more that's the logo's not there. I was looking for more weekend merch for H&M. But now they're not even partners anymore, so that's sad. G Easy was gonna do a drop with them too, but he's, he stopped being partners with them right before he um, make any drops, I suppose. Maybe. Can't talk. But he stopped being partners with them um, right before he like made a drop or anything, so that's disappointing. And he's like my idol, like I love his music. Over here, um, I speak Abercrombie. And honestly, when that store first started, um, not Abercrombie, but the store right now, you can still smell the cologne they used to spray is so much Abercrombie. And it's looking funny. But yeah, some of the stores they replaced it with is just so dumb. <laughs> Down here below, um, there used to be this one candy place, I forgot what it's called, but the, um, they moved it twice, I believe, or just once, and now they just closed it down, and it's not even a store here at the mall, so they, it's just stupid. So they moved it just so it can get closed down for like 
the next month or so. It, it's just so dumb. And we got over here, Tivana. I'm pretty sure that closed down like a month ago. And I actually bought some tea there, mostly because it, everything was on sale. And a lot of people were going in because um, it was just so crazy cheap. A bag that I bought, um, the original price was seventy dollars, and I got it for fifteen dollars. So that was a steal right there. Uh, what else? What else? Don't see anything that's changed. Um, this place that used to be a pet store got changed into like um, one of those foot massage places. We're like, we're not really like foot massage, but like, um, it's basically uh, what do you call it? They just have like a little tank with fish and they eat away the dead skin on your feet, which that's crazy. Okay, and how much time do we have left? Yeah, just a couple minutes. Panera used to always used to be here too, but they left um, probably in the beginning of the summer or something like that. Um, they didn't close it down, they just moved across the street. A lot of places do that and it's just crazy. One reason is because they do that is because they always have um, raised the rent in like all the places here. So some of them get tired of it. So they just move across the street where it's cheaper. So they don't have to pay a lot just for them to stay, which I can kind of understand. I honestly don't see anything else that's changed. Um, I believe this store just recently reopened um, just for prom, I guess. One thing that's a waste for sure is how they have too many jewelry shops and I'm honestly gonna avoid going this way because that's where my work is at and I don't want to go there yet. But yeah, they have way too many like phones, like phone repairs and jewelry stands and honestly, I feel like they could just make more than just that. There's also a bunch of um, massage places. There's one right, there was one right behind me. There's one up, literally right upstairs from above them. I don't know where else. Oh yeah, there's one at the food court. Like they have three or four at the mall, and it's just dumb. And they probably have around three jewelry kiosks, which I don't see why Total does that. You got the massage place right there, and then you got another one literally right above. And, like they're not like together or anything. Like there's no upstairs or downstairs. It's literally two different massage places. But even if they do that, that's such a waste of space and. They could put something else that's much better there. You really don't need that many at them all. It's so dumb. People keep looking at me weird just because I'm logging. There's also like a lot of um, like jewelry places, like actual stores, but I'm not complaining there. Like it's their business, they can do whatever, but uh, with the kiosks, um, there's too many of them. Also, I heard like some of those, some, most of some other stuff is fake, so. Um, there's that like my friend Danny he used to shop at kiosks with his mom and he says most of the stuff is fake and like it's not even real so I really when I try to buy jewelry or like watches or something like that I really just try to avoid that place I just try and go somewhere where it's legit and they give you good deals and stuff and also when you buy something and you tell them um, well, I'd say at least here at Total, but when you tell when you tell them they don't really have that much, um, they'll just tell you, okay, you can just buy it for whatever you have right now, and I'm gonna see it's dumb. So you just try and make a quick sale. Like this one guy approached me one time um, at this gold necklace. It was around, I believe, like, I can't remember, but I told him I only have around 50, and he says, okay, I'll sell you for that. He says, okay, I'll show you that for that. I'm gonna sit down for a moment. Um, but also with the phone cases, um, two years ago when my brother got a new phone, my dad went to one of these um, kiosks for the kiosks that they sell phone cases. And it was, literally just a, it was literally just a plain phone case. Like it was just a plain plastic black case. And they were literally gonna charge my dad fifty dollars for it, so he went off on the guy, and the guy goes, "Okay, fifteen dollars," and it's just so stupid. Like he literally just went fifty to fifteen. Like it's not even a joke. He literally went that low just so he can make a quick sale. Like honestly, 
I really don't have that much to talk about right now. Um, I guess I'm just gonna vlog after, right after I get off work, which is around 6, and right now it's almost 12. What time is it right now? Uh, God damn, this jacket's like so big on me, I can't even check my watch. And it's still big. Um, like literally three minutes or two minutes left, so I'm gonna head right downstairs. I forgot, there's also a jewelry place right here, and then um, they switched it out to a sporting goods thing, or I don't even know what. But then that place moved downstairs where Brookstone used to be, which also closed down around March or February, I can't remember. But yes, yeah, so many of them are just closing down. And there's no way this store, this, there's no way this mall is gonna last another year. I'm, I'm being completely honest. Plus, it's just so old and honestly, like, there's also stores that I walk around here and I've never even heard of, and yet they've been here for a while. Like, oh. hey. Okay, that was that was weird. But yeah, there's a lot of stores here that um, I don't really see a lot of people going to, but yet there's still house. There's still yeah. There's still they're still here somehow. Wow, I cannot speak today. But yeah, they're still here somehow. And honestly, the stores that are really popular, like Gap, they're going out of business. So that's just, just crazy. Honestly, I'd rather move um, close to Easton because they got much better stores there. And honestly, I'd rather shop there than Tuttle. That's a fact. Nice. I mean, look at this. Like, this this, this jewelry shop. This doesn't even look real. Like, sure, it's shiny, but it doesn't look real. Honestly. It just, it doesn't. Okay, Paxson, if Paxson closed, they haven't even changed the sign. Like, they haven't even updated it. It's been like that for years now. Like, what? But yeah, um, if this packs and closes, um, I'm gonna cry. Okay, this has been here for like, I'm not even kidding, like three months already, and nothing has changed. Like, have they even, have they even started construction or what? Like, Toro just really needs to get their together. Like, honestly, that's not, I don't even know, like, how far they've, like, start. I don't even know how far they've been building with that and honestly it's it's literally been three months or more than that since they started that yeah, I can't speak it's been like more than three months since they started building that story okay that's what I was trying to say man why, why was that so hard for me to say they also closed down here Godiva and I actually predicted this because um, their manager came up to Charlie's one time and she was com she was saying like how she only had literally one customer for the rest of the day like you see they closed down and honestly like I knew that was gonna happen I knew they were gonna close it down soon and then Brookstone used to be here and then they changed it to sports possessions that's I don't like sports so I don't know in all honesty um I would really just rather go to Easton. They got much better stuff there. Two hours later. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just got off work. It's um, sick. <laughs> hey, we're back now. I forgot my watch at the dishwasher. And I hate this jacket so much. I can't even roll up my sleeve. Yeah, I forgot my jacket and the dishwasher at the curry place. I'm surprised that one hasn't closed down. Not a lot of people go to that, so I don't know. But yeah, I don't know if I guys if I showed you guys yet or not, but I recently got a new Dell. It's a new tripod. Um, Zach broke the other one, so I had to get a new one. And this was actually much more sturdier. And honestly, it's really really good. And it doesn't slip off. It's also pretty big, which is better than the other one. And this one's not gonna break because since the other one was like metallic, um, when you bend metal, it breaks up the inside of it, which makes it um, more fragile. And I don't know, it's something about science. But um, I checked my Instagram late earlier today and there's people talking. I checked my Instagram earlier today and I realized a lot of people aren't following me, but honestly, if I was, Honestly, if I was still 
and to be completely honest it doesn't really bother me that much like I used to whenever literally just one person would unfollow me I would just make a fake I'd be like oh my god this person unfollowed me but nowadays um, just at least 10 people I believe unfollowed me and I, I could give to it made me realize that social media is not really that important in life. Um, sure, it's fun to use and stuff, but honestly, like, it's not really a big deal, and like, I can live without it. Honestly, um, I haven't logged into Snapchat yet. Um, really, don't feel like it. Instagram, um, like, I only posted one picture, and to be honest, I I already unfollowed like half the people who unfollowed me. And it was a big number. It was 60 people. That's crazy. When I was into like social media and all that, um, I was also like into drama and like I was super annoying back then too. And I hope I'm all grown up now. I'm 19 years old now. And yeah, my birthday was recently. I dropped my hat. I recently turned 19. And honestly, um, I just been thinking a lot. Like, but yeah, one thing I realized um, as you get older. Um, you really start to care things less and less uh, mostly because as you get older you've been through it depends how much bull you've been through in life if you've been through a lot then you really stop caring or you really stop caring what other people think and me honestly um, I could I could care less what people think about me and Honestly, like I know that I've been annoying in the past with people. I've been that one annoying kid in class And I'm pretty sure at one point I was that weird kid in class. I don't know But I was like in fifth grade and stuff and back then I kind of had issues so But it's all good now. Um, I'm still awkward as hell though. So this is that, that I gotta fix but uh, yeah, honestly um, growing up I've been through a lot and I really don't care much what people think of me and really don't care that like not a lot of people like like me or like a lot of people ghosted me like that's happened a lot recently like people that I used to talk to they recently just stopped talking to me and honestly like I stopped talking to people too and that's mostly because um, people need some time to themselves and I need some time to myself and honestly people who I weren't close to people who I weren't too close to um, I just cut them off like well I really didn't cut them off but like I just stopped talking to them it's like I just needed some me time you know like sometimes you just need um, some alone time you just want to take a break from talking to people you just um, I don't know just a break from the world just a break from society and stuff and honestly that's what I did I just needed some alone time that's that's kind of why I quit social media for like three months and now I'm back and honestly I don't know if I'm gonna be that much active like I was before like back then I was active a lot but now um, I don't know about now and but for snapchat I, I really don't care about keeping the streak either like a lot of people when they miss a streak they start freaking out but Honestly, when I lost some streaks um, back when I still had social media, I really did not care that much. Um, it's, it's just a silly thing. It's just a silly thing on Snapchat, and I really could care less. Also, a lot of people, they seem to be in, like, try and get, you know, like, a lot of followers, a lot of likes in their picture. Okay, to be honest, I really like having a lot of likes in my picture, but... You know, honestly, um, growing up, I realized that you don't need a lot of followers. I've seen, um, I've seen it both. I've seen both sides. I've seen people who have literally a thousand followers, and yet, like, mostly because they buy their followers, you know, or they just follow random people, and a couple of them follow back. And this girl, um, she would literally only get at least 20 likes per picture, and she would have thousands of followers like it was crazy but then there would be people who would have around 300 or 400 followers and they would get at least 60 likes per picture because um, those followers they're like all good friends like they know each other they're not just random people like um, you gotta be connected with your followers like you follow 
Like, I used to be that kind of person who just follow random people, but now I just try and stick to people that I know and I follow them back. Um, Twitter, I, I really don't know much about Twitter, to be quite honest. I just post um, stuff once in a while and that's it. The only one time I've ever gotten um, a famous, like, a tweet um, that had a lot of likes was when Trump's inauguration, when I pretended um, the border patrol, like, Im I pretended like immigration called me. I actually changed my friend's contact name to the immigration phone number, and a lot of people and a lot of people started texting me like freaking out, like, "Oh, are you okay?" and stuff like that. But I was just telling them that it was a joke, that I'm not really getting deported or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I was. That was one of like, the reasons I was so so annoying. Um, I wasn't really, like really like that. I don't know. I would be rude sometimes, but sometimes it would be by accident, then on purpose. Like um, I don't know. I'm normally like a nice guy, but whenever I'm rude to someone, like I don't really mean it. It just slips out, and honestly, like my face expressions. Um, like I have to like know like see myself in the mirror to like mirror I have to see myself in the mirror to like see um, what my face expression what my face expression is because if I just um, if I don't know my face expression then I'm just gonna have a resting bitch face or something like that and people normally ask if people normally ask if I'm sad or mad sometimes and like I just don't know that I'm making that face and like. That happens with a lot of people but for me um it's with people think i have an attitude sometimes even though um that's just the way i respond sometimes you know but uh yeah honestly um we're just gonna see what happens now that i'm back on social media and i might get on snapchat in a little bit but uh yeah follow my instagram snapchat and twitter in the back i'm gonna be leaving the link them in the description below thank you so much danny for being in charge of my three accounts um Honestly, glad that you didn't you didn't post anything stupid or anything like that. You're the only person that I could trust that could keep in charge of my accounts. Well, Gabe too, but back then when he didn't get hit, when he hacked my Snapchat, um, I had some thoughts, second thoughts. So there's that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later. Peace.